Well, for distance, I'm going to go to my top view and have a look. I'm going to hit F3 on the keyboard, which will give me wireframe mode. And what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to take it in a fair, fair way like that. And then I'm going to shift drag out another copy for the front wheel. And go to perspective by hitting P on the keyboard. And hitting F3 will get me back into the smooth shaded mode. And that's looking pretty nice. Um, okay, actually, I might just delete that wheel arch, that wheel one there, and I'll drag out a, another copy. Except this time, I'm going to plug in a instance. It will give me a copy of uh, that is a duplicate that, or an instance uh, that basically both of these cylinders here will inherit the same values. Because I'm just going to change the radius so that my we will actually fit inside uh, this wheel arch that I am intending to create, like so. Alright, so what do we do now? Okay, let's grab our car, let's go to the creation panel, open up the flyout or the drop down menu here and look for what we call compound objects. Uh, the one I'm interested in is this one called the Pro Boolean. So if you select it, Okay, you've activated this Pro Boolean tool, and we have this thing here called Start Picking. So it allows me to start picking the objects I wish to slice out of it, like so. Okay, that's pretty sweet. And I like it. Alright, so that should be right. So we'll switch off Start Picking. We'll go back and we'll collapse it into an edible poly. Now, what I want to do now is I want to sort of slice it down the middle. Um, and I can do that by pretty much cutting off or deleting the polys I don't want. But uh, you can see here along the bottom, uh, I don't have an edge that I need to create. And along the back also, need to create an edge that runs down here to finish the deal. Alright, so what I'm going to do is try to do that. Oops. So I'm going to go to my top view. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight in and select a quick slice. And I'm just going to slice straight across. So I click here and click over here. Okay, like so. Now what I've done is I've created a new slice uh, on this side and what I'm intending to do is delete one half here including the old line that's there. Okay, swing around the perspective and see what we've got. Okay, should be right. Let's go to top view and I'm just going to go into edit poly, the sub object polygon and delete the part of the vehicle and getting even closer I can select, oops, see I've selected too much but that's okay because if I alt unselect the major portions I'll be left with the part that I wish, wish to delete which I'm going to do like that and I'm going to select these vertices along the edge here and I'm going to scale it a little way and I'm just going to move it towards my center line and the center line is the grid here okay so let's get perspective let's go out of this mode into our object mode and what I'm going to do is drop down my modifiers and look for one that's called symmetry let's stand the bottom here Alright, it's gone the wrong way, so I'm going to play around with the axes here, mirror axis, until I get the result I want, and you'll notice that I get a nice symmetry going on here. Perfect. Okay, so this is my wheel here, and it should be something like this. Now, in UDK, they recommend you position the chassis with the maximum. Uh, travel in the wheel extended. So here you can see uh, the intention is this should be my travel extension. 
so I push my car up to give the maximum uh, travel in the suspension. All right, so my wheel I think can be a bit fatter, so let's change its height. Put it away. Okay, looks good. So it's twenty. There's a big fat wheel, sweet as. Actually, I might just leave it the same. No decisions here. Fifteen. Right. right, so I'm going to shift drag out a copy. I'm going to do an instance again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this to an editable poly. Okay, I need to redo my instance. So I'll just drag this out again. Put in my front wheel. Nice. And I might just drag them both out a little ways. Yep, that should be pretty cool. And I'm just going to do some editing on this wheel. So I'm going to go into edge mode. I'm just going to select this edge and this edge here with the control and select. And going to what's called the loop. Oh, sorry, must be the ring. And that's not even working. Sweet. Thanks, Max, for helping me out. All right, the other way you can do it, just select everything and re remove that selection like so and I'm going to go to my graphite modeling tools I'm going to select the edges and I'm going to do a chamfer and chamfer settings and basically just making the edge of the wheels a bit rounder like so and you can see how my instance over here is duplicating the one I'm working on at the moment alright so that should do for our wheel so back into this mode here, and what I'm going to do now, I can save it off just quickly. Uh, car test, whatever. Um, I'm going to shift drag out another copy. This time I'm just going to do a copy. Uh, this is going to form the basis of high poly car that I'll build shortly. Or I can just leave that how it is. I might go back and do something else. All right, that should be pretty cool. So I think I might just do something else to the canopy here. Make it a little bit more interesting. Actually what I'll do, I'm just going to can my symmetry for the moment and I'm going to select these wheels and attach them. And actually the way to do that, just go into element mode or polygon mode, doesn't really matter for this uh, car here. Look for it says attach and just select your wheels and they'll become part of geometry. Which means in the top mode I can go and apply another symmetry. Um, like so. And you can have the wheels on both sides. Which is pretty sweet. Okay. Alright, nice. Alright, so I'm going to do some interesting stuff with the car. I'm just going to collapse all. It's pretty much done with the symmetry. And I'm just going to create a roll cage for this guy, which I think is going to be a little more interesting than the traditional car look. So I'm just selecting the edges where there would be a roll cage, like so. Should be quite nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually what I'll do is just select across the top here, this one, and I can create a shape from the selection. So if you look in your edge. Uh, fly out, roll out here, you'll see shape from selection. So I click that and it will create a shape. Just go OK. Actually, what I'll do is I'll redo that again and I'm going to go linear. Yep, and I'm going to do this on this side as well. Yep, and once across the top. And this front section. And OK. And I'm actually going to kill the top of my car here. Goodbye. Alright, so what am I doing this for? Now I'm just going to go to the upper or the object mode of this car so I can select the edge here. I'm going to do the drop down menu for my modifiers and look for one that's called a sweep. And there you go.